Review 2024 GMC Hummer EV Sub shows off what can be. The 2024 GMC Hummer EV Sub is a show off. The 9,000 pound beast sprints to 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds. It has an air suspension that can adjust the ground clearance by 9.7 inches. Its rear wheel steering has a crab walk feature that enables it to move diagonally. And it has video game graphics with a lunar theme because this terrestrial machine has yet to meet its planetary match. So we're told. Even for one of the world's most off-road capable passenger vehicles, the Earth remains an undefeated opponent. Due to record rainfall splashing on the dusty heels of a record drought in the central coast of California wine country, GMC was unable to show off the full capability of its second and more accessible Hummer EV offering, the 2024 GMC Hummer EV SUV. It's a bizarro world, where floods overrun droughts, and a gas-guzzling tactical military vehicle repurposed for civilian life has been resurrected as the Halo car as one of the world's largest automakers pivots to an all-electric future. Unlike the Hummer EV truck that launched in 2022, the Hummer EV SUV looks much more like the Hummer H2 that flaunted its excess in the early part of the millennium. It's squat and wide, with a smooshed greenhouse and brawny fenders that bulge over 22-inch wheels. It's an American bulldog. But GMC neutered the rear of the SUV compared to the Hummer EV pickup. The wheelbase is 8.9 inches shorter, and it's 20 inches shorter in length. That results in a smaller 170 kilowatt hour battery pack, with 20 modules stacked 10 and 10 instead of the 24 module setup of the 205 kilowatt hour pack in the truck. From the C pillar forward it's the same as the pickup, but with the rear wheels pushed toward the swing gate and its full size spare, it looks more proportional than the truck, and it's better to fit into garages and to clamber off road. Allegedly. 2024 GMC Hummer EV SUV. 2024 GMC Hummer EV SUV GMC shuts down Hummer EV SUV off-road course It was raining when we arrived in Napa, and it was raining when we left. The San Franciscans rejoiced that the drought-depleted reservoirs had refilled in just three months of rain. But the saturated soil compounded an underlayer of ash from widespread forest fires in 2020 to make the earth unstable, toppling trees and encouraging landslides. It squished underfoot. It was like mashed potatoes, Sean Cockpit, director of Global Bic and GMC Communications, said about the conditions. The day before we arrived, a Hummer EV sub got stuck six minutes into a trial run up a steep incline on a hillside. Despite recovery hooks and winches on other Hummer EVs, the team needed a bobcat for its four-hour recovery. Bear in mind, the SUV is the better off-road version of the Hummer EV. It has nearly the same approach angle as the Hummer EV truck, 49.6 degrees in the SUV VS 49.7 degrees, but an improved breakover angle of 34.4 degrees, 32.2 in the truck, and the stubby end makes for a much friendlier departure angle of 49 degrees, 38.4 in truck. As Plan B, GMC created a flatter off-road course showcasing the Hummer EV sub's capability. The heavy rains had turned the field into a mush akin to ride paddies, with the 8,700-pound Hummer EV sub sinking if it stood still. GMC could not confirm the curb weight of the Hummer EV sub by press time. We could only ride along with GMC experts such as Aaron Fowl, the GMC Hummer EV lead development engineer. In spite of all because of the conditions, he showed off just how much the Hummer EV sub is a show-off. 2024 GMC Hummer EV sub digs out of mud. Fow turned the drive mode dial on the center console to terrain mode, and the air suspension raised the ground clearance from the standard 10.1 inches up to 11.9 inches. The three permanent magnet synchronous motors began to deliver max torque at low speeds. The single motor up front and twin rear motors apportion up to 1,200 pound-foot of torque based on individual wheel speed, so it was much more precise and reactive than the low gear of a two-speed transfer case. An electronic locker up front and a virtual locker at the rear can lock across each axle, and the front and rear can be locked together. All four wheel speeds are constantly measured and adjusted. 
Terrain mode dislodged the Hummer SUV EV from mud that climbed about halfway up the 18-inch wheel spiked with knobby 35-inch Goodyear all-terrain tires. On deep muddy turns it took some work from the rear axle steering to stay on course, but overall there was no need to engage extract mode as they had to do the day before on the hillside, that raises the ground clearance to a max of 15.9 inches. Crab walk might have been the biggest show-off. Using the rear axle steering that turns the rear wheels up to 10 degrees in phase with the front wheels, the Hummer EV sub scrabbled diagonally up and down the banks of a mud pit that was essentially a half of a half pipe. Activating it required a press and hold of the left side of the console dial until the crab walk icon appeared on the touch screen. After it dinged, an underbody camera view appeared. Two cameras, one in the center behind the front axle and another at the rear axle, have built-in washers that were more than necessary. They enabled us to see what we were driving over, which was a whole lot of mud. In total, 17 different camera projections give eyes where spotters can't go, and help to see out and over the broad hood and narrow windshield. Other vehicles have less sophisticated systems to help with off-roading, like Ford's that locks the inside rear wheel so it essentially gets dragged around a narrow turn. The Mercedes-Benz EQS SUV has rear axle steering that also enables sharp pivots around tight corners. Crab walk is next level. Moving diagonally was an odd sensation, in a parking lot or in the mud. At about 180 degrees of steering wheel input, it surpasses the 10 degree threshold of rear axle steering, so if you keep turning the steering wheel it will actually turn, but not with the same tight turning circle of 35.4 feet if it were in normal mode. It automatically disengages at speeds over 15 miles per hour. The Ultravision camera system, front e-locker, and AT tires are part of the $10,000 Extreme Off-Road package, on the 3X trim, it's $5,000 on the Edition 1, that includes 5 steel skid plates running from the front bumper to the rear axle and sealing off the stacked battery pack. With no locking differential hanging down like a dangling pumpkin, the flat underbody created plenty of space to clear rock and log obstacles. The mud bath seemed welcome, with the man-made lagoon water rising up to the Hummer letters on the grill, nearing the max of its 32 inches of water fording capability. The front locker can be manually engaged with a long press of the locker button on the panel below the touch screen, and it will automatically disengage over 25 miles per hour, but Fow said 9 times out of 10, it's not necessary, because the modes take care of it. The five modes, including a My Mode setting, all have a different style of lunar graphics that are as sharp as PC gaming graphics. The modes affect the steering, alter the damping, tweak the traction control settings, and adjust drive noises in the cabin. It's taking the native drive unit sounds and amplifying the sounds we want and layering a blending of sounds to communicate the power and torque, Fow explained. Each mode has their inspirations for sound. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.